like when his shocking claims propelled him into the global media spotlight, news of Happy Sindani's untimely death has him back in the headlines. Police think he was stoned to death after a night of heavy drinking. His cousin was called to the scene. They came to fetch me in the morning and told me to come see that my cousin had been killed. I went there and found him lying dead with bruises to the head. In 2003, Sindani told police he was 16 years old and had been kidnapped from his white parents when he was six. DNA tests later proved he was nearly 21 at the time. It also emerged his father was a German businessman and his mother, Rinam Zaia, was the man's domestic worker. Sindani was raised by his mother's friend, Betty. In 2004, he was hit by a taxi and a car after he laid down in the street. Happy was a boy that was having an identity crisis. And who was told when he was growing that you've been kidnapped, this is not your family. Police say there could be more suspects. The man in custody has not yet been charged. Offense Estimo, SABC News, Kwamhlanga.